Hello, AP Art History. I'm so excited that you are getting ready to register and this will enroll you in the course as well as the exam. While we will not be using um, the uh, website that you're going to lo log into very often throughout the year, it is important that you enroll soon so that it, you get the credit for all this. So to start off, our code, our join code is QWJADJ. I'm going to go forward and backwards so that you can see the rest of the steps here. So this is going to be unique for each AP class. Let's see, there we go. So you're going to go to myap.collegeboard.org. If you are already um, having a unique account with myap.collegeboard.org, you don't have to sign up again. You just sign in. But if you're new to AP classes in general, definitely do that. Step two is to add your join code, which is once again, QWJADJ. That will register you with the website, app, and our class. Your AP exam will take place on May 6th at noon at a testing center near you. So this is probably going to be a local high school. Um, last year, because of COVID, we tested on the computer. So who knows how the end result will be for this year, but hopefully you'll be testing in person at a local high school. Um, you do not have to take the test in order to be in this course. However, we do suggest that you sign up sooner rather than later because spots do fill up. Um, the local testing sites will be on my AP collegeboard.org as well. The cost for an AP exam is $95. While that is a lot of money, um, it is significantly cheaper than a college course which will run you, you know, at least a thousand dollars. And that's at a community college often. Um, Miss Corey suggests that you reach out to her if you need any help or assistance with signing up or finding a testing site, and her email is right here, acory at vavirtual.org. All right, um, I look forward to working with you guys and diving in. Uh, definitely sign up for this today, make, make your decisions, and also remember that if you choose to cancel uh, your AP exam, you don't get that money, $95 back, and you have to pay an additional $40 cancellation fee, which is a lot of money for not taking a test. So I highly recommend you take this, you know, what's the worst that can happen? Um, you get college credit. <laughs> um, but no matter what, I look forward to our class together.